Anyway, this is Joe Radio. You're listening to KZSU, and we're talking to Sleep Chamber. This is John, uh, live on the phone from Boston. Again, thanks for staying up so late. No problem. <laughs> and hi, Luz. Hi there. Yeah, we're still on here. That's right. Now, um, do you, uh, John, do you have any plans to uh, come out to California and do any shows? Well, actually, we do in the fall, but what we're trying to do is plan where we want to go. And, I mean, we don't want to be out there for two months g traveling around. Mm -hmm. You know, we've, we've, by the mistakes we made going to Texas and wherever, we've learned that we've really got to know where we're going and what we're doing and where we're staying and everything like that because uh, it's a long way from Boston. <laughs> That's right. Well, you could just, you know, come out and do a show here and, you know, hang out here for a while and then go back without having to worry about traveling out around all over the place. Yeah. Well, we <laughs> actually sell a lot of records out there, so we've got to get out there. Yeah, that's, it was a store up, up actually in San Francisco where I, you know, where I saw like several of these live records. And I think I saw actually, uh, I forget which one it was, but there was like some autographed copy of one of them, which was like the three X's and your initials on it. I don't remember which one that was. But uh, there's one particular store whose name I really can't mention because that would be advertising, and we don't advertise. But <laughs> that, I guess not making a killing off of these things, but at least you're getting to, to get the records out there. Yeah, that... we're getting it out there, but that's about it. Okay, on KZSU Stanford, yet another track from Sleep Chamber. That one was called Babes of Babylon Remix off the uh, Sins of Obsession LP. And uh, John, there are, um, shall we say, many uh, sexual themes running through lots of these things. That one in particular. The one I really would like to play but I absolutely positively cannot is uh, Finger on the Trigger. <laughs> I think you know why. <laughs> but uh, so what's, what's the explanation for the... Um, Sort of that that theme running through running through these. Um, it must be my obsession <laughs> with um, female anatomy. 
That, that's a sufficient explanation. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, that's what it's going to be. We have John from uh, Sleep Chamber on the phone with us, and uh, we've done the best we can to uh, get good sound quality out of this phone connection, but we are calling Boston, so keep that in mind. John, you're coming through loud and clear. we just got some noise in the background with you, okay. but we can hear you fine. And uh, Luz, do you have any, uh, any last items here? Yeah, we wanted to talk about collaborations and yeah. that sort of thing. Any, any people in particular that you have worked with or would like to work with? Um, it's, it's not like I look at it that way. I don't say I want to work with this person because I like what they're doing. If, I mean, it's, it's a lot harder than that. The people are all over the world. Um, we, I mean, most of the time I work with people or people have sent me tapes or, or something that has got my attention and they're in the vicinity. If I'm in New York, I'll work in New York. If I'm in Texas, we'll do it in Texas. If we're in Boston, we'll do where we do most of it is in Boston. But um, as far as the European people, I, I haven't done anything yet with anyone. Mm -hmm. Now, if people wanted to, uh, let's say, send you tapes of uh, some of the stuff that they're doing, is, uh, is uh, do you get a lot of that? or? Yeah, I get quite a, bit, quite a lot of that. <laughs> and what do, you, what do you do with it? Well, I mean, it usually gets about four minutes on the tape deck, and I can usually tell by the first four minutes. <laughs> I mean, I hate to sound like Sting of the police. <laughs> It's usually the truth. I mean, the first four minutes usually tells you whether it's going to be, you know, uh, a machine shop noise or mm -hmm. disco or whatever they're going to send you. So you don't like machine shop noise or disco, right? Well, I like something a little bit more original. You know, it's, it just seems like a lot of people are trying to copy other people like Skinny Puppy or Current 93. They just, instead of getting their own individuality or their own style, they seem to be mimicking other people. Which, I mean, if they want me to release it or if they want to club collaborate with me, that it's, it's going to be a little bit more interesting. Mm -hmm. And there are those people out there, you know. Yeah, well, good good words of advice to people who uh, who might want to uh, at least contact you and find out what you're doing. Does your label um, produce any other bands or any other people? Well, we've, we've put out stuff by Control Bleeding, Psychic TV, Nurse with Wound, um, Hunting Lodge. Um, I haven't worked with anyone in the future, although there's a girl singer that I could be working with within the next month or so, depending if she signs a contract or not. Hmm. Now, who, who's that? Her name is Elaine Walker. Oh, okay, I was... And, and she has a project yeah. called Blue Cartoon. It's it's on the idea of the 4AD stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh... Just generally. <laughs> um, I think we're just about ready to wrap things up. Why don't you briefly, again, tell us um, what, what we should expect from you, you know, in the future, recorded re from okay. recordings or for uh, for any other shows? We have a 12-inch being made within the next month of remixes from the new album. It's got a snake bite, light posotomy, way of the flesh, and I can't think of the other track. And we're actually recording this week a cover tune of Madonna's Justify My Love, which will be for radio stations only. So that's going to be a real hard one to find. Do you have our address, right? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, so make sure you get an exclusive copy. Thank you very much. And uh, we're still working on the videos for uh, Circle Zero. We're just finishing those up, and then I guess we're going to work on a new album. We're probably going to do the video for Justify My Love, too. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be on MTV? No. <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah, is it going to be banned from MTV, more is to the point? Be banned? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that wouldn't be much of a uh, accomplishment, seeing that there's nothing that we have that could be played on <laughs> That's right. Maybe you, you know, do some do some really tame stuff, and maybe they'll pick up on it. Yeah, they might. You know, put put like uh, what I don't know, cars and big, Boats. <laughs> right, violence. And flames and good. violence. Yeah, yeah. We can deal with that. Yeah. Well, again, John, we appreciate your time. Okay. Thank you for calling. Oh, we look forward to uh, well, again, we'll, we'll 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 hope that maybe someday you'll get out here. Yeah, Either we will probably by the fall either on a vacation or otherwise. Yeah, no, we'll be out there by the fall, I imagine. Yeah. Okay, Luz, any last comments or? Uh... No, just look for Agritech magazine. That's right. It's, it's, we're we're going we're gonna to tell you a little bit more about Agritech coming up a bit later because that's uh, sort of what this whole thing is all about. But uh, anyway, John, thanks again. Thank you, Joe. Take care. See you oh, later. He, he got my name right. I'm amazed. <laughs> Appreciate that. Okay, uh, actually, actually, hang on the line. Luz wants to talk to you a little bit more. Okay. But thanks again. Appreciate it. John from Sleep Chamber. And uh, that is that.